Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Barker Plays Crusader Kings 2, right here on the channel Be a Better Game Master. Uh, I just want to take a moment really quick before I get started just to thank all of you for uh, all the support in these Let's Play videos. I know it's weird and uh, kind of a shift in how things work. So all of a sudden, I'm doing this whole completely different thing on the same channel, but, you know, it's 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 just... The thing that I wanted to do with my creativity, and uh, I only have so much control over what my creativity tells me to do. So uh, this is uh, just a product of something my brain wanted to do, and and it's it's a blast. I love these games, and, and you've been you've all been super helpful. Um, <clears throat> In fact, I want to thank specifically uh, somebody. I, I cannot pronounce your name, <laughs> but I'm going to call you Nowo. Uh, Nowo Sinem24. You have given me so much just really good basic advice. For example, uh, Nowo, you, what, which is what I'm going to call you, I, I cannot finish this task without 100% plot power. I, without 100% plot power, I cannot assassinate my brother. That's the way it works. That is a huge thing uh, that, that helps me out is to know that. So I'm just really, you know, I'm not even going to rely on that anymore because it, it goes up so slowly. It goes up so rarely, too. Um, the other thing is the domain size. You know, I was told, you know, don't really worry about it too much because it's not it's not that bad of uh, big of a deal. Yeah, I um I I don't worry about it too much because I don't truly understand, but I'm getting it. I'm now I'm I'm actually getting it, and I feel like see I've never built holdings in this game ever. These holdings I've never built one actually, and I feel like in this game since I'm going to be playing like for a long time, I'm going to be able to build holdings, and then this the holding, you know, banner, the domain size will make more sense. So I'm excited for that moment. But in the meantime, we are playing King Alfonso the sixth of Leon. Uh, and he is distraught. His wife has just passed away clutching at her heart. Um, and, uh, and this was, I mean, this was back in March. This was, wasn't, you know, just now, but he is still distressed. Uh, and his heir is Prince Alfonso of Leon. So I'm going to press play. Uh, we are unmarried. Um, I am going to uh, do this. Actually, you know, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the other thing that was recommended to me. I can go to Intrigue, and I can invite a courtier. I think. What? Invite noble to court. To aid with matters of administration. A holy man. See, I thought that I was going to be able to recruit a the advice that I was given uh, was that I could invite a courtier to my hall uh, and then they would help with uh, maybe perhaps they'd have a higher intrigue score than my uh, terrible at intrigue spy master he's just awful he's just he's fall he falls down like trying to you know garret people he, he it's bad um but uh, I, I can't find that. I can invite a noble man, invite a noble, uh, or a holy man is what I meant. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I am going to uh, can recruit a court physician. Let's do that. Let's recruit a court physician. Uh, we're getting nervous about diseases that are passing. Oh, there's a smallpox outbreak right here. Okay. Smallpox is hitting us up. So, uh, I am going to try to get married. Let's see. Let's see what we've got. Let's see if we have, can find someone with a high intrigue. Ooh, a courtier in Navarra. Um, everybody, I don't think anyone's got landed titles. Emma, Princess of France, court, courtier in Orléans, courtier in Holy Roman Empire, courtier in Hedmark, Princess of Holy Roman Empire. Courtier in Bavaria, Aquitaine, Luxembourg. Um, what? Come on, let's let's see. What's um, dynasty? That'll be a good one. No, let's do a culture. Culture. That'll be good. And let's look for Castilian. There we go. Um, well, this isn't good at all. Um, God, they're all kids. Jeez. 
Uh, I think I might stay unmarried for a little while, actually. Oh, if this is, you know, the best that we can do here. Um, I don't really care to... Well, you know, I could marry into a French region. That's what I was thinking. Like, I don't really want to do that. But then I'm like, you know, why? Why not? Why not at all? Uh, let's uh, let's just, you know, just look for genius. Why not? No, nope, we don't have it. All caps. Wow, what do you know? Uh, Midas touch. I don't know. You know, maybe. Nope. Um, let's try this. Uh, ooh, okay. This is a high intrigue. Camoa, courtier in Castellabranco. She's Portuguese. She is. She does hold a claim to Castellabranco. That's awesome. But she is a courtier, so I'm going to lose prestige. But you know what? I, I feel like... Oh, okay. Just 100 for marrying the relative of a count. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's no problem. Yes. What do you think? Okay, that's fine. Let's do that. I want to try to marry again. I, 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 I'm looking for that rebound. That's, that's what he needs. Uh, to the great Alfonso, your wisdom and mercy are legendary. I accept your suggestion that King Alfonso VI and Camoa get married. Or Chamoa. Uh, excellent. Your rangers report of a suspected witch living in the outskirts of the realm. They have never been able to prove that the woman practices sorcery, although the villagers do not trust her. She is willing to put her medical mixology skills to good use in your court and offers to become your physician in exchange for naught but a small vial of your blood. A most strange offer. Okay, uh, physician, a small vial of my blood. I will lose 25 piety. Might, I might get an infection, and then she'll like me. Or I could uh, not. That's weird to me. I do not require your services. I've never had a good experience with uh, calling somebody uh, a physician to my court. Uh-oh, look at the smallpox. Smallpox in Astorga. Um, I don't want to seal my borders or anything yet. I'm just going to... We're just going to have to wait it out. All right, spy master. Let's appoint uh, my wife to be spy master. Uh, how awesome. She's pretty. Um, th no children, that's fine. I have my own heir. I mean, I don't really care too much about that. I just want to see the realm prosper for five years. No war. Okay. I'm going to be keeping my eye on the diseases uh, map mode. Um, but let's, for now, look at the diplomatic relations. All right. My brother is at war with my other brother. Okay, great. Um, we can all declare war on a whole bunch of people, and that's lovely. I can declare war on anybody in the yellow. Uh, but uh, I don't really want to. I don't want to go to war. I want to be at peace. But that's going to be hard, because pretty soon this is just going to be too... It's going to be brought to the forefront. I mean, I just feel like this is going to be tough. This border, this is going to be tough. We're going to need help. <laughs> Count Ordonia for... Okay, hold on. Hold up, hold up. Count my sister, Countess Uraka of Zamora is dead from explosively vomiting. She died explosively vomiting on the 2nd of September. Okay, oh, <laughs> whoa. Smallpox a little bit. Is that where she was? Where were you? Was this... Was it you? Yeah, okay, alright. Yeah, she just died. Oh, wow, uh-oh. That stinks. Okay, so discard this message. Uh, the new heir, though, is my nephew. And his heir is my niece. So, that'll be interesting. Died explosively vomiting. I love this game. I mean, really, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's all I need in my life. Gosh, it's so good. Okay, I'm going to check to see if my vassals like me while I unpause the game. Vassals. I click on random things sometimes because I'm not sure what the right things to click on are. Great. Let's take a look at laws. I think we might be able to... Uh, nope, not yet. We cannot. Not, not until 76, I believe it was. Let me just double check. 1076, yep. My lord, it seems that King Garcia, the second of Galicia, has finally decided to come out of hiding, no longer as fearful for his life. Okay, so now it would be a good time to strike. Now it would be a good time to strike. I'm going to pause. I'm going to look at my intrigue <clears throat> to see my plot power. Is anybody cool to help me? Nobody. I just... <clears throat> excuse me. 
I don't get it. Um, okay, so, but I did that thing and my plot power did not increase. Okay, I got a couple... Okay, there's a faction. No, there's not. Okay, a couple plots, though. Known plots. Bermuda Fernandez wants to kill Oveco Sanchez, heir to the county of Astorga. Marshal of Astorga. He wants to kill the heir. Does he like me? He likes me fine. Well, he's all right with me. Let's see. Let, let's go back. How about this guy? Does he like me? Just fine. I, um... Astorga's my place. I, I want to stop the plot. I don't want that shit happening. Excuse my language. In, in my in my realm. I don't want that. So uh, I'm clicking on all the wrong buttons because I always lose track of which button it is. Uh, yeah, I'm going to stop the plot. I'm going to end your plot. Absolutely. Demand it. Your majesty, may you live in harmony and contentment. Your demand is just. My scheming was obviously misdirected. I hope you will find it in you to forgive me. Uh, let's see. Astorga. The Marshal of Astorga is... Um... Claimants. I don't know how to find it. Let's see if it's my Marshal. Definitely not. No idea. No idea. Uh, well, let's see just how things turn out. According to Chancellor Diego, the peasants of Leon have started a delightful tradition where the peasantry from several villages meet up and dance, feast, and pair up for future marriage. Wow. By promoting this tradition, Diego believes that the county will develop a strong local culture that will attract more peasants. That sounds great. Oh, I expected it to be something that makes us lose piety, but I guess not, because it's marriage. A peculiar tradition, I will support it. Uh, it would cost me about six gold. I'd gain a bunch of prestige, and we'd get harvest festivals, giving us a local tax modifier of plus 15%. Or I don't do it. Are you kidding me? That's rad. Let's do it. We are having harvest festivals in January. That's how we roll. Uh, <clears throat> in the Iberian Peninsula. Um, keeping my eye on the smallpox... Um. Oh, nope. That's a uh, defensive packs. Camp fever. Couple smaller diseases. We're, we don't get the black plague till much later. But uh, but these diseases, they can wreck your town, man. They can wreck your town, so to speak. Um. But I love them. I really do enjoy them. Every time I ride out to hunt, I hear an arrow whiz past me. And it is only because I anticipate it that I can avoid it. <laughs> Can't speak. No one else seems to notice it, and I have stopped trying to convince my friends that it is real. Huh. I've never found the arrow, and I get stressed. <sighs> or it was you. What? Count Diego, my chancellor... 54. He hates paranoia. I could get stressed. I don't want to get stressed, though. Um, I feel like I might be... Let's blame Diego. That sounds good. I mean, he still likes us. He likes us just fine. Okay, the world is currently ravaged by... Okay, I love this. I didn't realize that this button existed. Your own realm is ravaged by one epidemic. Your liege, my mission to Navarra has been so far a success. During my visit to the court of King Ramiro of Navarra, I, have, I seem to have managed to make him understand what a benevolent and peaceful ruler you really are. And he sends his regards, your humble chancellor, Count Diego. Perfect. I'm going to do something a little weird right now. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how this is going to work out, but I am going to take this guy and I am going to... No, wait. Uh, diplomatic relations. Where are you? Um, yeah. Improve diplomatic relations. I'm going to do that. But I'm going to do it with these people. I'm going to do it with those people. I'm going to improve our relations because uh, I don't want them to declare war on me. <laughs> I want to secure these borders before any war happens. And I, I have a feeling like... Like, that's not going to be the case. Like, it's just not going to happen. It's not going to work out that way. But I want to try. I really do want to try. Um, one epidemic, still this... Okay, well, small. it's it's thinning out. So maybe it'll thin out here. 
There it goes. All right, no more. How lovely. The world is currently ravaged by five epidemics. Wow. Consumption measles, camp fever, measles, and, sp and smallpox. Not bad. Okay, College of Cardinal seat. Let's go back to the normal view. Uh, we'll we'll, we'll uh, keep our eyes over here just in case we have a... Uh, um, I think I think that'll pop up if we get a disease here, or was it only because we were on the epidemics page? Eh, we'll we'll figure it out. According to your Marshal Azam, the peasants of Salamanca are having frequent troubles with highwaymen and wild beasts. He suggests constructing a series of outposts along the roads of Salamanca. The peasantry would feel much safer, and it might even lead to more peasants moving to the country. I think that's a great idea, and it'll only cost us seven gold. It'll gain us prestige, and um. Yeah, well, it'll be a lower revolt risk. It'll be great. Speaking of revolts, let's just take a look. We're fine. We're fine. I like to check these out. Uh, cultures, Castilian, Castigan, economy. Eh, we're okay. Not bad. Du jour duchies. I can make some of those. Du jour kingdoms, the kingdom of Leon and Castile. Man, I want that. Du jour empires. I want to control the empire of Espana. Again, du jour means things that might be. I should have had the play button on this entire time, but I forget sometimes. I, I do it more often in Hearts of Iron 4. If Amon is dynasties, the Jimena dynasty. Okay, so these are all families. This is always an interesting way to, uh, to choose a country. Because you choose a dynasty, you're like, oh, this dynasty is PS, so I'm going to go here and take over this dynasty. Like, that. To, that's how you do it. I feel like this is the best way to choose who you're going to play as. Because um, we're all related, so that makes it easy to keep it in-house, so to speak. Opinions, uh, direct vassals. Not bad. Okay, King Alfonso uh, the Sixth of Leon fulfilled the ambition to see the realm prosper. Fantastic. We saw peace for five years. Do we have an ambition? Become a paragon of virtue? Sure, let's do it. Have a piety of at least 500. That's, that's going to be a long time before we do that, but you know what? Fantastic. Pre previous spouse is dead. That was Sancho Ramirez. Let's take a look at our realm tree. We have uh, 42, 42, Levy. Not bad. Family tree... Uh, this is us. My children are not here. Oh, okay. All right. That's the more important tree, if I'm honest. Uh, well, maybe. We'll see. Uh, excellent. How old is she? She is 32. I need to keep the game unpaused. Uh, go to um, vassals one more time. Just check them. Make sure everyone likes me. These are the, this is the direct vassals map mode. Uh, trade zones. Genoa. That's neat. Um, uh, governments. Just want to look at these. Feudal. Icta. Tribal. Defensive pacts. Novgorod. Wow. Interesting. Very cool. Epidemics. Okay. All right. Uh, well, uh, I watched from the shadows as my spy master, Kamoa, surreptitiously marked a spot on the wall with a piece of chalk. Okay, come on. Come on. No, I can trust her. You're fine. Don't do this. Don't do this to yourself. Countess Uraka of Samora has inherited the county of Samora from Count Ordonio. Ordonio of Samora. Samora. Uh, here is Samora. Why? What happened? What happened here? He died little kid died of pneumonia so now she has it the heir is my brother and uh and i'm trying to kill him i'm not gonna try to kill the child i'm gonna hold off on that that's it's a little much oh oh no build spy network there who almost forgot actually i did forget till now research cultural tech in leon and let's press the play it presses the play or else it gets the hose again. All right. Not too shabby. Oh, oh yeah, and someone told me Norga. Norga. Or Narga. Narga is how you pronounce this, right? Narga. I love that. I really like that pronunciation. That's really cool. Look at, just look at this crazy crap. Oh my goodness gracious. Whew, it's crazy. It's crazy up in Britain. 
I am pleased to hear that after a period of peace and shrewd management, the county of Salamanca is doing very well. People are happy and the tax collectors are reporting record intakes. Salamanca prospers. Also, same with Leon. Also prospers. Excellent. This is what we want. This is what we want. Thinking about getting the Canary Islands, but I'm worried about these people. I don't want to go to too many wars. Hmm. That's the issue I'm having, I think. That's that's the issue. Huh. Man, this is this is a this is tough here. What do we got going on here? We got this occupied by the Abadid Emirate. Chill my child lacks a guardian. Okay, my heir, Prince Alfonso of Leon, my son, he lacks a guardian. No, I don't want to get him betrothed. I want a guardian. Guardian. Um let's do What am I what am I what am I doing here? Okay, educate child, yes. That's that's what it is. Um this is a courtier, but she has very good abilities. This guy's minus touch though. Yeah, he doesn't have very good qualities though. Yeah, we'll choose her. Okay. Oops. What? Lost her. There you go. There you go. Uh, let's see. Do you like me? Yes. Okay. Let's again. Vassals. Like me just fine. I could look at King Alfonso the Sixth of Leon's Wikipedia. You know what? I think that's how I will close out this episode. I'm going to click on this Wikipedia link. And I'm going to bring uh, the Wikipedia link into the screen. Alfonso the Sixth of Leon and Castile. Alfonso the Sixth, nicknamed the Brave or the Valiant, was the son of Ferdinand the First of Leon and Queen Sancha, daughter of Alfonso the Fifth and sister of Bermudo the Third. He was King of Leon from 1065, King of Castile and de facto King of Galicia from 1072. After the conquest of Toledo in 1085, he was also the self-proclaimed Victoriosissimo Rege in Toledo et in Hispania et Galicia, most victorious king of Toledo and of Spain and Galicia. Wow, that's pretty baller. Um, this is Alfonso VI of Leon. How very interesting. Man. That's so cool. Yep, and this is us. Around 1065, so we just have this now. Well, cool. Very neat to see. Very neat. So I'm going to close this before I get too many crazy frame rate issues. Uh, and I will thank all of you once again for all the great support and feedback and help in learning how to play these games. I always want to get better. So uh, you've all been awesome. Uh, thank you so much. Godspeed, double tap peace, and I will see you next time.